the smartphone's processor is its brain you rely on your phone in some way to almost everything you do it's only natural to choose the best available option on the other hand a high end processor requires the purchase of a flagship smartphone although you will receive the service you have paid for it's important to consider whether you actually need it your phone's processing power will be determined by the apps and task you use you should choose a smartphone with enough processing power while staying within your budget due to the large amount of technical terminology it, it's a bit difficult for consumers to choose a smartphone based solely on its cpu since there is so much terminology to understand it's a little bit difficult to follow to assist you here is a guide to processors and how to choose a smartphone with the right cpu hey guys this is manish you are watching tech and spice in case you are watching this first time on my channel don't forget to subscribe it and also follow me on my social media handles all right let's get started So let's start by learning about smartphone processor in general. Firstly, they are called SoCs and chipset. SoC stand for system on chip. A processor is directly responsible for the performance of your smartphone. Everything you do on your smartphone depends on it, from accessing apps to browsing the internet to watching movies or playing games. When performing these tasks, the better the CPU, the smoother and lag-free the experience. It's not just about crunching numbers. Additionally, a CPU contains module that support the smartphone's various hardware and functions: camera, Wi-Fi, screen, security, graphics, Bluetooth. network connectivity and many other features are included a high end processor will then support and provide the most up to date capabilities for each of these components so choosing a processor is based on specs cores and clock speed a processor's performance is primarily determined by two factors the number of cores and the clock speed available let's look at how to make a decision based on these two numbers The processor core is the component that implements and executes tasks. Today's smartphones have many cores. Each core is built to handle and carry out specific activities. The more cores it has, the more and heavier apps it can run at the same time. Smartphone with variety of multi-core CPUs, dual core, quad core and octa core processors are the most popular and the later being the most powerful hexa core processors are also available but they are uncommon processor are also classified according to their clock rates which are generally measured by gigahertz this is the frequency used to refer the speed of which each core can accomplish activities naturally the larger the number the better the results multi core cpus on the other hand may have numerous gigahertz values even on high end models because most of the manufacturers strive for a balance of power and efficiency this is the case qualcomm's latest snapdragon 845 chipset for example has eight cores four of which are clocked at 2.8 gigahertz for peak performance and four of which are clocked at 1.7 gigahertz for efficiency and battery use So while choosing a CPU don't only look at the numbers of cores compare clock rates as well to get a better sense Even with all of the mentioned details and knowledges selecting a processor can be challenging after all it's not possible to measure your consumption and compare it to the company's stated numbers of cores and core speeds if all of that is too much for you you may just choose a cpu based on manufacturer and the chipset series that they designated there are only a few firms that create smartphone cpus and only two of them are worth paying attention to that is the qualcomm and mediatek other firms include as apple samsung and huawei produce processor as well but they are mostly used in their own devices qualcomm is most well known owing to the fact that famous OEMs such as Samsung, OnePlus, Oppo and Motorola frequently employ Qualcomm CPUs. On the other hand, MediaTek, the market leader, also produces more SoCs for mid-range smartphones and slowly climbing its way to high-end devices. Based on benchmark numbers, one of the most popular misconception is that Qualcomm CPUs are better. 
when it comes to real world setting though mediatek cpus can be just as good especially in the lower price range they concentrate on providing high end features at reasonable pricing this is reflected in the brands that use them as well both firms offer a variety of chipset in different classes snapdragon's 200 400 600 and 800 are the Qualcomm's offerings with performance descending in the sequence. Each series has a number of variations that have been released in the recent years. The higher the number, the most recent and the powerful the series performance. Qualcomm recently unveiled the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, the company's flagship processor and the most powerful to date. You might now get a doubt where does the 8 Gen 1 name comes? This is because Qualcomm recently changed its name scheme for the high-end 800 series of SoC while the 8 still denotes the company's flagship product. If you want to read more about the new name scheme and why it happened, I'll leave my website's link. Do check that out in the description below. On the other hand, MediaTek has four different series of chipset. Firstly, the A series SoC like A25 which usually powers entry level devices. Secondly, the P series which will be used on entry to mid range series which primarily focus on overall system performance. Thirdly, the G series which denotes their gaming series with powerful GPU. Finally, the Dimensity series which is a series dedicated for 5G SoCs. Do note that higher the number after the SoC name goes, higher will be its overall performance. Of course, a good processor isn't the sole reason to acquire a smartphone, but knowing which one you need is usually helpful. It aids in decluttering of the information and making of an informed decision. You also have a clear understanding of what you are paying for. So, I hope with this video you will have an idea what is an SoC is and how you should select an SoC for your devices. So that's it from me in this video. I hope you like this video and if yes then don't forget to like the video and also share it with your friends and let enlighten them too. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media handles. I'll meet you in the next one. Until then this is Manish. You're watching Tech and Spice. Bye.